What is going on, guys? This is your main man, Ben, here, and we are Talk Active. I work in technology fields as PC tech administrator, analyst for at least 10 years, so I like cycling, boxing, mostly outdoorsy things. Hmm. So we generally talk about current events, technologies, sports, or sometimes by request in this channel. We are regular people with factual experiences. It would be nice if we can contribute to the universe. You know, let's talk about it. Welcome, Welcome to Ben's, Ben's Podcast. Podcast. So what we're going to talk about today, guys, is mostly in our current situation as a COVID pandemic nation. So what's going on right now is what we are in the second month of our COVID thing. Um, people are still working off, you know, off at home. It's good thing and in a bad thing. It's a mixed bag of beans. But overall, that is the current situation of most people. Um, other than that, last month, April, it's a record breaking 21 million people lost their job here in the United States of America as a result. So this is where we're going at right now because of that. Moving on the month of May, we do not have that current numbers yet as of now, but I'm guessing since that wave, it's a natural reaction. Either we went up or we went down. So most likely, I hope, knock on the wood, it's going to go down. So that's the thing now. We're going to talk about this. It is very important because uh, here in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, um, Governor Larry Hogan announces that most, most probably tomorrow, Friday at May 15, um, a lot of establishments, small businesses will be opening. And that would be the meat of our topic right now. Um, is it safe to, you know, let's open up our businesses little bit by little bit and try to recover? Uh, or is this a big gamble, a recipe for another second wave or, you know, a possible rewind or whatnot i hope i don't want to say the word but would you agree on this oh man so this is my thing about this okay um ah uh, man we are going to reopen things in a small a small you know state by state depending on what state you're in i hope you are in a proper or healthy, you know, situation. Currently, Maryland is still in top 10 here in the United States and America. That has a lot of infections in the current pandemic. However, um, once again, uh, doing so, doing so with reopening the small businesses, it could reintroduce, you know, a, a, a next wave because what we're looking at as of the moment is that numbers are going down. And that's fact on any of the hospitals here in Maryland. However, we've been locked down. So that would be the natural reaction for, you know, the, the, the result of the past couple of weeks. People are not going out as much, um, wearing masks. In general, being precaution and what is going on. However, um, if we are going to open our establishment and this we don't have it clear yet um like a um shall what they call vaccine or herd immunity or we don't know yet because this is the result that once again the past couple of weeks that we've been isolating ourselves you know sacrificing and all that stuff but but is it worth it to reopen now since we are not out of the woods yet so i, I would say in a professional perspective in medical field, um, I am not an expert at all. Oh my God. I hope I am. However, I work in the medical field, uh, not in the floor, uh, you know, direct contact, but we support the people that's in direct contact. But one way or the other, uh, yep, yeah, my, my brother is a nurse. My wife is a provider. She's a nurse practitioner, basically. 
in the front lines as well. So whatever they get, we get too. That's my entire point. But in professional perspective, I do not think that is very, very advisable to do so. Um, one way it tells me, you know, this is not kind of a good decision. But the other end of the stick is telling me that numbers are going down in hospital. ICU admissions is, are at lowest since the pandemic. Um, this, this is kind of interesting. I would say, I don't think we need to rush these things. However, I see the outcry of the public, especially in different state that, you know, small businesses needs to recover. Um, you know, the help in the stimulus package um, can only just run through. Uh, it's not that much. It is a help, though. It's much appreciated, but we haven't received ours yet, though. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Mm, mm, mm. But then again, uh, we are the people that is hitting the most. Um, you know, we don't we don't get a lot of backups like what our, you know, good Good businesses have, uh, uh, big businesses have, they got like fundings and all that things. 21 million Americans lost their job or out of in the workforce in last April. So I do understand that part. However, uh, uh, the current situation does not agree a lot because of this pandemic. We don't have any vaccines. We don't have any direct, you know, medications as of yet because this is so new. And mind you, vaccines takes a long, long time to make, you know, to be developed. And if ever this vaccine is going to be developed, this is going to be one of the most fastest developed vaccine in the history. That's something. That's something because this deadly and this widespread pandemic, the COVID-19, it's going to be unprecedented to be able to make a vaccine that quick i just want to say that well um this this is just part of the the things that we're going to talk about man because as as how i see it if we are going to reopen the possibility of recovery to the to the road to recovery starts we're going to draw the line from here however it's a roll in the dice because the current situation uh, explains that if you were infected with this virus, you're not immune. There is a chance to get reinfected, even though you're already, you know, passed through, gone through, and and survived it. That's the thing with this this virus, man. This is virus is nasty. It's very very nasty. But like what I said. It's in the talks. Everybody is trying to get back to its feet. Um, sports community is starting to talk about getting back and resuming sports activity between what? End of June or mid of July. MLB is in the talks. NBA as well. Um, last week, um, really, really awesome thing that UFC did, though, is that they had a fight. Um, if you didn't know that, some kind of pay-per-view, but it's under ESPN, and they did held a event, which is Fighters Fight. It's sanctioned, but there's no audiences. It's it's only by by uh, televised in 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 internet or in TV. It was a good step. It was a very good step, though, but. If that would be the case, then then that was just a exception to the rule because, you know, it's not involving a lot of, you know, people like a team. I mean, fighters have their own team, their own camp, but it's not like five on five, like basketball or MLB, baseball. It's not like that. It's not it's not a whole lot of people involved in it in general. But then again, that's that was the development and a big step last week from UFC to hold or held an event in spite of this pandemic. So that that's a plus. If if you ask me, it was kind of entertaining because this has been a while, what, two months not seeing any sports. Mm. We're gonna pause for a break here, guys. And uh hang hang tight. Hang tight. And we are back. We are back. So 
regardless of what's going to happen tomorrow, if we are going to resume here in Maryland, that's still a question. But as far as, you know, the home quarantine thing, our governor announced that, you know, we're going to uh, downgrade the the level from, for example, level five, threat level five, to we're going to go to level four. I don't know how that applies, but it sounds almost similar to me. But I think in the back end, uh, the normal businesses, small businesses can resume. But even though the governor, Governor Hogan announced that, if the Supreme Court upheld this ruling, then no one's going to be able to, you know, resume regardless. If federal Supreme Court says that, nope, you guys cannot resume that, then you cannot. And we're going to find that out today if the Supreme Court will intervene and put a overruling that, you know, you cannot remove that, you know home quarantine sanction that has placed in the entire nation. And we will find out. Okay. But I'm going to put my two cents in this one, guys. Um, for me, if it's really worth it to gamble on reopening in spite of a no clear on this entire situation, then you know the drill. You know the drill. A lot of people saying that numbers are not looking at where it's supposed to or you know uh it's not right i'm not speculating i'm not saying i don't have numbers to tell you guys but then again it's there it has been talked to by medical professionals and people in the field themselves so i'm saying if it's worth it then do it open it up you know the risk you know Death is just in the corner for everyone. But if you want to fast face that process, then yep, it's up to you. I do understand why you want to reopen because of the econ economic impact that's been put to everyone. And I do, I do understand that. Trust me. And, uh, and the other end of the stick, like what I said, I would also understand if the Supreme Court stepped in and says, hey, guys, let's give it a week or two, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more. But whatever happens, uh, one thing for sure we have to secure everybody, especially the kids. So I'm almost 100 percent sure that the United States is not going to resume classes in this school year. We're heading towards June, which is summer here in America. And that would be the end school year for our children. I'm glad one way or the other. But, guys, thank you for watching. I mean, guys, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you for listening, guys. And I just want to say that out there, your boy submitted an entry to the Road Podcast event. Uh, you know, you know. Checked out your boy. It's your boy, Ben. And, and I'm going to post the link down there. Um, if you want to listen to my, to my uh, submission, to my entry, it's less than two minutes. To be exact, it's like one minute in 50 seconds. If you can hit like or vote, I would much appreciate it. It's a fun gig. It's a soul refreshing. I appreciate Road for doing this. And uh, just check it out, guys. But overall, guys, be healthy. Stay safe. Um, I hope you guys are doing awesome, awesome things. Although we miss every single lifestyle that we got in the past, we will see the end of the tunnel. And, and to God be the glory, guys. Always remember, God is good all the time, man. Be safe. Peace out. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. Thank you.